All right, so here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to the spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes there is nothing in pro sports quite like a ufc heavyweight championship fight that is a reality you've been there you've done that baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight yeah the champ walks again and he wears that proudly johnny wants to be called the champ he loves to be called the baddest man on the planet he is so skilled he's so dangerous he's so scary and he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Now he's going full mount. Well, he grounded him and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Matumbo style. Blocked. He gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. 
Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should... Oh, that's so wrong right. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, nice. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the front. I mean, blood's in the water. you got to go get it. you got to go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that. Feels like the beginning of the end. Oh! Big right hand lands. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, back and forth we go. Under two minutes to go in our first round. Oh, as good a counter striker as there is in the game. Straight right is good. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking there. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. That was a big jab. Lands that beautiful jab. Good jab there by the champion. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. Yes, the single collar tie now. Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there, unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent, his ability to see the shot coming, defend him, and make the fight happen where he wants to. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this, gentlemen. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Big double leg, double change. He passes the half. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Oh, nice transition there. You call that a reversal? Yeah, you turn your defense into offense. Defensively, you switch position and you go right on the offensive. That's exactly what he did. All right, he engages in a single power tie here. Five. Second round, straight ahead. Stop, stop, stop. All right, there's the end of the round. I'm looking over to my left, UFC President Dana White. I think he's making out the bonus check right now. Incredible back and forth action. Sign the check, boss. These <laughs> two young men deserve 50,000 hell. Let's give them each 100,000 for the performance that they just put on in one round. Both were hurt. Both were able to withstand the punishment. And I can't wait until the next round gets started. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to his school. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Do you believe it? This next round is underway in the previous round. Both fighters got rocked, crowd going bananas. Big opportunity for both fighters. These are the types of fights that makes it so fun to sit right next to the octagon and call the action. Both fighters throwing heat now. That punch didn't get through. Great defensive skills on display. Oh, and he caught the kick. Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. Nice. Nicely done.
looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. He's digging his entire weight into those punches to the body. Nice shot inside by the champion. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Oh, nice. Oh, he cut a nasty cut on his lip. That one bears watching. Massive right hand. Strong straight left there. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing shot. Every shot. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Hooked there by the champ. Back to his feet. Now, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position especially for a wrestler. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. All right, well, if you like blood, perhaps this is the fight for you. That cut is really starting to open up wide now. It's starting to open up, and it doesn't seem to be affecting him too bad right now. It's still bloody, but it's not really limiting his, his ability to continue. Let's see if he can get through this and win this fight. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Oh! He blocks the shot. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Immediately gets the underhook. They're so evenly matched, they're going tit for tat. 30 seconds to go in round two. Straight punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. 15 seconds to go. Always be closing. Busy in the clinch here, the punch is good. Over, he got stunned by a massive shot just before the end of the round. So now he goes back to the stool, wobbly a little bit. We'll see if the corner can maximize these 60 seconds and keep his head in the fight. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready to fight? Ready. 
Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Clean with that offer. Attacking the body now, that shot blocked. DC. Big ground and pound. Beautiful transition. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. He passes to half guard. Oh, right into mouth. He's got to find a way to get back to his feet. with the ground and pound strike. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Oh, nice punch there in the clinch. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Back to the jab now, no good. Shots exchanged in the pocket there. He didn't like that left hand. Oh, another knockdown! Well, I can't even relate to the mental and physical toughness we are seeing from these two individuals. Both fighters damaged and compromised, and yet leaning on the heart here late in the fight. Yeah, they're both leaning on the heart. Right they're both right trying right to really show that they belong. They're both trying to show that they're the better fighter. They have been matched at every single step. They're both bloody, battered, bruised, but neither one of them is willing to take a step back. These guys want to win. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh! That will do it! Oh, my goodness. I mean, you got to be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on SportsCenter tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 25 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Big Daddy. Well, he came in with the moniker of baddest man on the planet, and that is exactly the way he goes out. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner tonight by way of the KO. And that's a big man celebrating with his team right now. Enjoy it, boys. You maximize the moment tonight.